Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on how to make an ottoman from scratch. This is a one-day project and doesn't require a lot of skill to accomplish. First, you'll need some MDF or plywood cut to length, a cordless drill, a bunch of screws and a corresponding drill bit, some wood glue, four plastic furniture pads, a large and thick piece of upholstery foam, two large pieces of cushion foam. We're going to start off by making a rectangular frame. I'm using the lid as a work surface here so I can keep everything nice and flat when assembling. Stand up two corresponding boards in a 90 degree angle. Hold them tight and pre-drill three holes for the screws to go in later. Apply glue on the edge of the board. Screw the boards together and make sure they are at a perfect 90 degree angle. Adjust them if necessary. Turn around and repeat this on the next corner. Remove any glue squeeze out by wiping it off with your finger or use a damp cloth. Measure and mark the middle of your box. Screw in a rib in the middle. Then apply glue to the top edges of your frame. Place the lid, which was cut to the right size in the lumber store, on top of your box. Hold the top in place by screwing it to your frame every 5 cm or so. Next, take your can of glue and spray the whole top surface. Make sure to use glue that's specifically made for upholstery foam. Apply pressure to the foam to assure a proper adherence to the wood. Then, apply glue to the sides of your box and stick a band of wide cushion wrap to the side. We'll be attaching several layers of this cushion wrap to give the ottoman its shape and to soften the corners. Cut off any excess wrap. Then measure and cut a piece of cushion wrap that is big enough to cover the sides, the top and has a bit of overlap so you can attach it to the inside of your box. Place the cushion wrap on top of the foam. Put it on its side and then pull the wrap tight and add a couple of staples to hold it in place. Make a little split in the wrap there where it meets the rib. Pull the wrap tightly again and hold it in place with some staples. The next thing is to attach the wrap to the corners. Naturally, you will get overlapping, but we don't want that. So we will have to cut away the excess wrap to make sure the corners are nice and flat. Pull the wrap tight up to about halfway to the corner and staple it down. For the corner itself, what you have to do is pull it really tight so that it compresses the upholstery foam and gives it a more rounded shape. Then add staples right at the corner to hold it in place. Next, pull the wrap away from the corner until it is nice and tight and staple it down. This will create a ripple of excess wrap. Gather it together and just cut it off. Next, pull the wrap away from the corner until it is nice and tight. Then staple the wrap across the whole length. Repeat this same process on all corners and then add another layer of white cushion wrap. Next, cut some strips of wrap and tuck them in between the two layers of wrap at the corners and staple them in place. This will reinforce the corners and make them nice and soft. Again, repeat this same process on all other corners. When you're finished attaching the wrap, sew the wrap together at the corners to create a smooth transition between the two pieces. If everything goes well, you'll end up with a nice white fluffy box. Then take your fabric of choice, in this case black velvet, and place it on top like we did with the cushion wrap. Staple down one side, turn it around, pull very firmly and staple it in place. Cut open the fabric to allow it to fold over nicely next to the rib. Then cut away any excess fabric you don't need. Pull the fabric tight and staple it to the box bit by bit to ensure a smooth and wrinkle-free surface at the end. Repeat this on the other three middle points. 
Next, work your way to the corner by pulling and stapling the fabric gradually to the box. Make sure to pull really tightly. Now comes the most difficult part of it all, which is neatly attaching the corners. To do so, you need to fold the excess fabric over so that it forms a 90 degree angle to the floor. This is a process that takes a little patience, but is worth it in the end. What I found works best is to attach the fabric bit by bit from each side, until you reach the corner itself and then just staple it down. Staple down the fabric across the whole length of the box. Give it two rows of staples for added strength. Repeat this on all corners, taking your time to really pull the fabric tight. Grab a hammer and four plastic furniture pads. Turn the ottoman upside down and hammer the pads down on each corner. This will protect the fabric from any dirt or damage due to friction with the floor. There you go, finished black velvet ottoman. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these tutorials. Thank you and see you next time.